We got the high council. This is definitely our first take, but we got M. Frisk, we got Mad Paz, we got some new splash. Uh, we got the EPL starting off. We got all ten teams here. We're gonna look through them. If it's my Discord that's making it so I can't see your screen. Alright, well, you'll get there eventually. And also, I can't. And then we'll get a quick peek at the dog. There he is. Look at that. He's so pretty. Because I have him muted. Oh my gosh. He had me muted the whole time, and he, I no wonder. Anywho, let's get started. Send your splash, pick a team. Where are we gonna go? Where are we looking at? See you in three minutes. <laughs> got you muted. How is he gonna pick a team? He still hasn't muted. There we go. Alright, All right, he's back. He's back. He's All back. Right. There we go. Pick a team. Pick a team. Jesus team. Christ. This is a tough start. I, okay, so, I'll pick a team. How about uh, <laughs> number six? Alright, we got Anthony P. So, uh, we had Anthony P and Dishnet already do a video looking through all the teams. They're pretty uh, nice, I would say, to teams. We're not going to be nice. Let's roast the shit out of all these teams. But starting off, uh, we'll go through we'll go through the lineup screen. Oh, that's not it. Yep, that is it. So, pitching staff. He's got Yakimas, Gaoba, Graviton, Akari. He's got a shit ton of pitchers. Uh, not, nope, 10 pitchers. Three two-way guys. Anyone have to anything to say about this pitching staff? On it, like he, he's uh, definitely valuing the two-way guys. You can see three two-way guys here. Oh my lord! Now I can't hear the stream. I can hear you. All right, Jesus Christ! Everybody else sucks. Anywho. I, I mean, I understand. I mean that uh, when I look at this uh, pitching staff, it's. It, it, it's tough to kind of evaluate because you you have to think about the no lock on of the league, and so I could tell pitching wasn't necessarily even though he has a lot of pitchers, pitchers wasn't exactly the focus, or or he drafted very interesting pitchers. Cause, I'm I'm gonna pull up I mean, his uh, thing real quick, but I'm pretty sure he did focus pitchers pretty pretty heavy. Yeah, I mean, he had three I, I, of his first four pitchers, and then another five of his first seven. So he picked a lot of pitchers quick, and then after that, it was kind of more staggered. But he had a couple of late pitch pitchers at the end. But I, I think Aoba is decent. But I mean, these stamina with these pitching rules with the two game rest or whatever, like I think the two game rest thing is gonna be pretty tough because you're going to have to throw him. He's not even going to get through like six innings. Well, let's say six innings. And he has to throw someone else for three innings. So they're going to also be out two games. So like he did, he probably needs a decent amount of pitchers, but I don't know if he needs 10. And yeah, I, maybe I, that's his approach. Maybe that's his yeah, approach. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I think, I think Graviton is all right. But like, as we've kind of seen in our other league going on right now, even though it's the fastball changeup combo, you just sit change up or you just sit fastball and then you're kind of all over him. And like, he does have Tyrant, but again, he's got that only starter. Like, all his, like, main guys he's probably going to want to start have that starter only. They're not even relievers. But Yakimas, obviously, I mean, is a good two-way guy. I don't know if I like him up that high, but it just as a pitcher, like, he's not a top, top pitcher. So no one's just, like, super disgusting, but he's got some good guys. And lineup-wise, I kind of just threw together quick lineups for everybody. I know, obviously, no one's going to rock these exact lineups, and I don't know what these people are doing with these two-wave things. But first base, I noticed, a little weird. It's got, like, Yumishiro, and I don't even know who else really plays first. I guess Sen uh, Sendo, obviously, probably could do that. But he doesn't really have a true DH, like, to throw in there. I mean, Graviton's a decent hitter as a pitcher, but, like, all his other pitchers don't really hit. And then he's got like Aramura, so a couple of these positions not too bad, but it all, overall this is definitely a mid team. Like there's a pretty uh, clear emphasis on like contact hitting and speed. Oh yeah, yeah. everyone's be scared to hit things. for sure. Yeah, everyone's definitely scared to hit. Like they're just gonna bank on these slow games. Yeah, I think for that reason, I won't be surprised if I won't be surprised if Sendo probably does play first and then Aseki is DH. Yeah, he could. It all depends, like Sendo's obviously pretty cheats in the field, but you can get away with it probably at first. First base obviously one of the bigger positions you can get away with the crappy defense, but 
overall, definitely not a bad team. Like, no excuse to suck. Like, if, if you, you can, anyone could, not anyone, but you know what I mean. You can win with this team for sure, as long as you're good. So, that'll be the first team. Any closing thoughts? I don't even know if we have Splash anymore. Faz, but I think we do, but. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm pretty much on the same page as you. Probably a middle of the pack team there. Yeah, I, I know think... Anthony's pretty good. Um, yeah, well, I mean, historically in the EPL, and so I would say. I wanted to put up the logos for the team, so this is the first team you got shafted, but there's his no socks logo. Like, well, no socks. Pretty cute. What will you say? Sorry, I got summoned by <laughs> like literally mid, mid <laughs> I had to fill this um, silence. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he 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 ended up, I think, in top four. And here comes the kids. So uh, hey, anywho, like, it's, it's definitely a decent team. I was, I was looking at Kakuju for a while just for his positional uh, versatility as, like, a backup guy. I don't know if he's going to have to start him or not, but, but again... As Frist said, he has a Seki, he has another outfielder, so he can kind of put one of these other outfielders at DH if he wants to. So he's, he's got a little bit of line of flexibility, but not too much because he only has those two two-way guys and two bench guys, so let's see how that goes. All right, I don't know if it was Splash, but what's, what uh, team do you want to look at, Splash? Well, we take a look at the sub-Arctic narwhals. Ooh, that's Greg the Egg. We'll look at that. I got that thing on. There you go. <clears throat> so let's look at this team. His uh, top two picks were Allen and Raybu, I believe. Now, like, Raybu might not have been a second. I'm pretty sure it was, though. And I'm definitely very high on uh, Allen and Raybu. I think I had Allen rated as my number one guy. I was really hoping to get him, but obviously, I had last pick, so I was expecting it. Um, he can hit. He can, uh, he's a good pitcher. He's got. Be stamina, but that's like enough to get you through the whole game. Obviously, I have Allen in the uh, Piper Offense League. He's been putting in work, and that's for SS guys. So he's uh, yeah, I'd, I'm a big fan. I think Allen. We've seen he's he's pretty pretty dominant against SS players. So I can really imagine how he's going to do it against these. Yeah, and then average hitting sets. I haven't really talked about it yet, but. Uh, I made like a draft board or whatever, and right away you could tell outfielders are very, very thin. There's not many good outfielders, so even just, even though he's not great in the field, like that EE fielding stuff, but compared to a lot of these outfielders out there, like you'll take some, someone, a body that can play outfield. And then the other good thing about this too is, so yeah, we'll talk about this, I think it's the Ridge Runners that are a similar team like this, but their top two guys, they could in theory play every game because you could pitch Allen and like you don't have to hit him. And then you can DH Raybu. You can see A A A. And then uh, if same thing, Raybu's pitching, you can just hit him, or you can put out in the field. So it's kind of nice to have like your two, top two guys contribute every day, even though they're pitchers. And then he also has uh, the Chidi Hakudo, which isn't bad. Ucho is not bad, but not too good, but not too bad. And then his actually his third pitcher that he picked was Kariba. I just threw him down here, but who knows what he's gonna do pitching wise, rotation wise. And again, only six yeah. pitchers, so this is kind of the opposite end of the spectrum. So we'll see rest-wise, he's going to have to get through the whole game. Yeah, but pretty pretty interesting to see what, what happens if any of his pitchers start getting lit up at the start of the game. How yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm under the assumption that you can't make roster moves like during your series. I think you have to do it at the end of this week, but I'm not sure. But, like, yeah, you get... You don't make it through the six, like, so maybe it was only C-Stamina. Allen's high B, I think you said, and then Hakuto's low mid B. So you get into a game that goes extras, or you get into a like mid game, but it's the uh, pitch count for the relievers. So that could get very very spicy quickly. Like, you, you, he could be in theory like capped basically to two pitches a game, which that could be not good if uh, if one of these guys gets off to a tough start. So or you go to extras, especially if you have a. Uh pen full of bad mood players yeah, yeah, yeah that too so now you're really super quick. limited because <laughs> like once you're uh going in the middle of the season you have two players always sitting pretty much so now you're relying on good mood on whoever you're gonna throw uh his team his unique thing about his team is he drafted a shit ton of shortstops shortstops were a pretty deep uh position but 
he just started to fuck it. I'm taking all the shortstop. So he's got uh, Nakashima, Kazunagi, uh, Azuma is another shortstop. Oops. And uh, who was the other one? I don't know. Whose team is this again? This is Greg Vieg. Mm. He's got a lot of shortstops. And I threw Allen in left, but he's got some like crappy filler outfielder here. Again, like that's like a lot of these teams as we kind of are going to see. It's uh, an outfielder is super thin. Okami, I have a DH, but again, we talked about he has Reibu, he has Allen. Kind of fill that however he wants. Psyche, Toto. He's got a Yabe. Murasame is going to be good in center. And then obviously Yabe is pretty fast too. So he should at least cover ground out there. And then it's just whoever he wants to throw in that last spot, which there's some like decent more decent feeling options so he's got a pretty solid team like this is definitely one of my uh i like this team for sure but. yeah i think he's got he's got a pretty good combination of top end pitching and all around de pretty decent players um i think just that one weakness is the, the lack of pitching depth there yep yeah i agree i i don't think he needs like all these fuller guys I like, wonder if that's you could, you could get you could drop an outfield it. yeah you could drop an outfielder like and you're totally fine you have three outfielder guys on the bench plus another back two backup catchers but one again one's an outfielder Azuma is like a good player but you can only play shortstop so are you really gonna play Azuma over one of these other guys I doubt it <sighs> but overall I think Greg Dyke had a really good record last time and like definitely a top contender and again same thing like this team isn't going to hurt you at all. You have a good team. It's just the uh, pitching depth it seems a little interesting to go with the six pitchers. Yep. Yeah. I, I think this is one of the teams that it's just going to come down to how good you are on the sticks. It's not going to hurt you. And it's, yeah. it's not going to I think just based on the stats. I think in a playoff series, that's going to be interesting because now you are knowing, like, I got to just whittle them. And it's I guess it's the same thing for regular season series as well, but you can just try to do your best to whittle down his pitching. Just be patient, draw him out. So last season in the EPL, Greg only lost three games total. In the regular season, right? Mm-hmm. And then he lost in the, to Brenner or whatever in the yeah. playoffs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sounds, like, sounds like he's pretty good on the sticks. Yeah, he's, so. <laughs> he's pretty good, I think. I, I'm sure he'll be just fine with this team. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much everyone's saying he'll be one of the top three teams. Like, I don't doubt it. All right, Frisk, your turn to pick a team. What do we want to go with? Let's look at Penguin's team. Oh, boy. This is one of my favorite logos, if not my favorite logos, but there it is. Soda Beer Sunrise Penguin Pouch. Pitching-wise... Uh, the interesting thing about this team is they have five pitchers that are starter only. And uh, he actually didn't even draft a pitcher until like he had his whole fielding lineup picked, which is pretty funny. And like even after that, his pitching is still all right. Just, again, no top-tier threat. We've seen Suzumoto and Shindo do pretty well in HO. Not amazing, but not too bad. And then these other three guys, not really. Karasuma actually kind of shut me down a little bit last HO game, but... Uh, shut down, but four runs, whatever. <clears throat> so I think uh, what uh, Penguin Pouch does like is he likes the high velocity guys. Um, he picked Sudo with his first pitcher pick out of all these guys, actually. But I don't know how he's going to use him, if he's going to use him as a starter or not. But again, if he uses him as a starter, all these other guys are going to get penalized when they come in as a reliever. So again, one of the weaker pitching people, but you can see kind of one for higher speed guys. What, what is the penalty for uh, bringing in a starter as a reliever? I don't know the exact nerf off the top of my head. You know, first? I don't either. I forget what it is. It's like something like pretty bad, I thought. But... So I, I had Ichinose before, and it's like, you want to use him with the Tyrant but, or Intimidator, but just get screwed. But again, as we talked about, you picked all hitters. And you can uh, see it with this lineup. So you got Toei, that was the first pick overall. But you got the first pick because he won the triple P. 
Uh, he's got Kurosaki, who I like a lot. That was on my first uh, draft team that we did like way back, start of uh, Power Pro 2022. He's got one of the best catchers, if not the best catcher. I threw Nanaya DH, but I think he has a couple other options, kind of. But I mean, he's good. Uchei is good. Tanoji, Shimada, and Ito's all right. And then he's got like Pink on the bench, who's pretty good in the middle infield backup. I don't know about Yabeman, but the rest of these guys are kind of all right. But decent fielder there. Well, obviously, this is going to be one of the deeper hitting lineups. Like, just looking at the hitting stats that I scrolled through right there, it's like all at least a B or whatever. All right. Yeah, 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 I don't think anything lower than a B. Like, at least a B on every single guy. So, pretty good. And yeah, decent and fast. Yeah, really focused focused on these field players kind of be a, a team that wins with offense and, and defense in the field rather than pitching yeah I mean all they have to do is score a couple runs and you're probably all right like with this type of thing but so it's gonna be the vice versa like you're all these other teams are gonna have to be able to punish this pitching or like it's not even gonna matter then it's gonna be this team's gonna be good otherwise so if you can't punish that pitching then you're gonna be screwed because he's probably going to score a couple runs off you. I, th I think Penguin was pretty strong in the uh, um, the Koshin tournament, right? So yeah, he won that one. So definitely, definitely, definitely didn't beat my team in the finals. Definitely not at all. <laughs> definitely, he's definitely one of the, the people to look out for in this league. I think. Yeah, I think. Like overall, those top pitchers from that Power Pros, Power Pros World Koshin were like definitely better for the most part than most of these guys that are going to be pitchers. Maybe like a couple of the top guys, but that's about it. So, like, there wasn't a ton of runs scored in that other one, but people still scored. So, I think we'll hopefully see more offense in this one. We should, even though it's no yeah, lock on. But those Ike pitchers are usually the toughest to hit with the the combination of high velocity and lots of movement. So, for sure, it's definitely definitely a little harder than some of these pitchers. Yep. Alright, we'll be done with Penguin's team. As we said, Penguin's a good player, good team. Yeah, yeah. Definitely deserved to win the last one. And it's definitely not still sad and having nightmares about Hashida. Anywho, uh, I'll pick the next team just because... Let's go with the Arkansas Ridge Runners from Obsessed Team. You can see why I like this draft. He started off his first two picks, Doe and Atsumori. And then he's also got Hoshi, Yakiman 2, and then some kind of filler here. But he's got Yakiman 2 and Tachibana. That should be cheating. Like the same guy. Anywho. You know, I'm surprised to hear you say that, Pup, because as I was following along in the, in, in the dis Discord, it seemed like you... He was like completely clueless on what was happening. And well, let's let's be clear. I think his top two picks are very good, and then it was kind of starts getting a little raunchy after that. But so like again, I kind of talked about it with the uh, Rebu and Allen team. But picking Doe and Asamori like back to back, you can hit them every game. So like you could put Asamori in the field or DH. Sorry. You can put him in the field or DH, like, and again, outfielders are really thin, so that's honestly not that bad in the outfield, like, could be worse. And then again, Doe, obviously, with his bat, is always a menace, so that's kind of a good top pair there. I think we've seen Yakman too, who's been putting in work in Piper Offense League, so that's a good pitch pick there. That was, like, pretty late, decently late that he got him. And the rest of the pitcher, like, not to worry about, so... Um, let's look at the fielders though, because this is where kind of Frisk was getting at. Uh, he went, so he went those top two pitchers and then he took three outfielders. So I think the outfielder depth, again, was very thin. So like it was kind of good that he got that out of the way. But some other people like definitely started reaching for outfielders after that. So like it kind of was nice to take advantage of that and like get good players. Like kind of went best player available on my team anyway, taking advantage of people just trying to fill their positions but is that once you get to a certain point everyone's about the same so it's like less value i think but he went with pretty strong three outfielders up first and then like his shortstop not a fan of Heizuka at all not sure if he's gonna play dh actually but 
You always have uh, Suzuhime as well for shortstop, and also Oyama, but like again, not too big on shortstop. Shortstop pretty weak. Maybe he wants that uh, Azuma from that four shortstop team or three shortstop team from Greg Bieg. Kaminari, I don't like that much either, but he picked him pretty early. I think I had him as like my backup catcher on the first draft league that we did way back. And then he's got no real first baseman either. So first baseman, there's a lot of good hitting threats, and he doesn't really have any of them. He has Yakman 3 that can play there, and then there's like Ryome or some shit. Yeah. And he's got Kagiyaki. So again, his like top like six maybe are all solid, but after that, it was kind of like a what the fuck. Yeah, it seems like af after that five, a, a lot of, I imagine all of the pretty no well-known players disappeared from the board. And he, I don't know if he just picked best available per position and went position by position, but like, <laughs> I, but, I don't know if I would. Yeah, yeah, I think that, like one of these two, know? like I, I want to say it was like Kaminari and Yakiman 3 went like back to back. So I was like, what? Yeah, he picked Kaminari and Yakman 3 back to back, so it's like two, two catchers in a row. But like, obviously, I like Yakman 3 as a catcher, like good, good catcher A, he's got trash talk, that's pretty, that's, honestly, I had him rated pretty high. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, the round before that, he picked Kaminari, and he already had three outfielders as well, so, a little strange. But, what can you do? Yeah. I, th yeah, I think the, the draft really seems like it lost focus towards... Middle to later rounds there. Yeah. I thought I got off to a good definitely start. Some, but... Yeah, definitely some top end pitching and, and a good outfield tier for sure. And again, like Doe and Atsumori are two of those pitchers that like are gonna do really well because with these pitching rules, you want your starters to go really deep so you don't get screwed with pitch count on your relievers. So two starters with that stamina is definitely really good. And then he's got like Hoshi and a couple other guys to work with. So. I think he still couldn't compete. It's just that, it's like, I'm not scared of any of these bottom guys, so. All have flaws. We still have Splash with us. Does he want to pick the next team to look at? How about the Crown Princes? Crown Princes. After facing some of these pitchers in hyper offense, gotta wonder if it's gonna be the same type of original pitch span. That we've been seeing in some yeah. of our games. Well, Matt passes in this league, so hopefully not, but. <clears throat> Anywho. Hey, man, you, you gotta do what you gotta do to win. <laughs> uh, this is an interesting draft. Like, I, a lot of these players I would say I like, but like they all went like three rounds earlier than I would think they would go. And not, I don't necessarily like these pitchers, but like Go is the second overall pick in the draft. Again, people really like the two way guys, but like. Even Yaki Mask was available. I mean, it's, everyone's available except for. I don't even remember. But. So, I don't know why I go in second, but. We uh, we saw him put in work in that first draft league, which I guess this is a similar format, but this current HO has just been getting destroyed, so. We'll see how that goes. And then I like Yamino a lot. I've had him a lot on my teams, but he did just get lit up my last game against Moose, so. That was a crazy game. Did you guys see that game? Crazy game. I think the. Oh, go ahead, Pat. Nope, go ahead, Chris. I was going to say, I think a lot of people forget uh, Yamino's hitting. Yep, yep. So we'll look at his uh, fielders and stuff, but like I think he has a pretty obvious spot at DH for Yamino on this team, actually. And Junkensu also. So, again, this is another like super thin pitching staff. They only have the six pitchers, and they have two A stamina guys, yes, but goes B stamina, and then... Like, if they can't go, now you're going to have to start one of these guys, and Junketsu's not a starter either, so could get spicy pretty quick. What yeah. are the pitching rules in regards to the relief pitchers? Because it seems to be a common trend with a lot of teams. They've already got it. Two I don't or know three if, guys that can come out of the pen. Yeah, I don't know if first knows the exact number off the top of my head, but it's like throw a certain number of pitches. I think it's like 15 pitches, and you have to sit an inning, and then if you throw 24 pitches, you have to sit. Er, sorry. If you throw 15 pitches, I think you have to sit a game, and if you throw over 24 pitches, you have to sit two games. That's my yeah, like remembrance that. off the top of my head. So 24 pitches is like, could be a one not good inning, or like two innings. Depends how it goes. Like, obviously, a lot of people like to swing at everything, so maybe you get out of it a lot. But 
And then lineup wise. Yeah, you go ahead. Okay. No, you're good. I think Splash is trying to say something. Oh. No, I'm just thinking I could definitely see uh, I bump just sitting there taking a lot of pitches just so that in games, you know, two and three of the series, if you're doing three game series, they're not going to have any relief pitchers available. You get to the seventh inning, starters out of energy. And either they got to roll with zero stamina, or they have to put a starter in there. Yeah, you guys know I do it against you all the time. Like, I'll, if I'm if I'm trying to draw you out, I'll just set a spot, and then if you don't throw on the spot, I'm not swinging, and then I'll let you throw the borderline pitches all day long. No problem. But, uh, Some of these pitching staffs will be interesting towards the, the middle of the season when, um, you know, they've got some guys that have to sit games, and then... What happens when they get a couple blue mood pitchers? Like, right, say, yeah. I think people are gonna get forced. Energy. They're gonna like our our league. We just say, ah, oh, like, ah, oh, shit, purple mood. Alright, they're not throwing. But <laughs> in this case, they're gonna be like, ah, oh, crap, I gotta throw them. But uh, lineup wise, again, like, I don't hate any of these players, but it's just the way you pick them all. It's it ends up being like kind of spicy. So like all these players, I would say, are decent, but. And then again, yeah, we know can go here. You can be more flexible on this first base spot. Like, so I got to play first, pick out a Kino, and then same thing goes pitching, deep goes a third, blah, blah, blah. But again, we'll see how this goes. I mean, obviously, MC Scale is not a bad player. Made it, uh, it's like semi or finals or whatever for PPP. So he got it to advance their EPL, and then also he's decent uh, Power Pro's World Cushion. So I think he'll be fine. but... Obviously, there's someone, someone's got to win. What he has with uh, pitching wise, because in Triple P, he had Mileman, Nijitani, Hakodu. Yeah, that's uh, like, my, I think that's like you could argue every single pitcher is better than these. Yeah, and so I, I it'll, it, yeah, it'll just be interesting to see how he handles. But I, you know, majority of what he did. Uh, and Triple P was uh, a pretty much balanced approach to pitching and hitting. Yep. Whereas Peng Penguin was, Penguin hit, he had like a 900 OPS with lock on one and Triple P. Uh, and so I, I know he's going all in on that. Yeah. Um, but you know, Scales, very confusing draft. And I've heard he did a theme team, which I don't know what that theme is. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, it's interesting. I was gonna say white hair based on those first two, but I have no clue. So, who was? <sighs> yeah, I like. I'm not scared of that lineup as they're coming up with that. So, like, who's gonna bone me? No one. Anywho, that's it for the crown princes. Who wants to pick next? I think we got uh, Matt Paz picking next, or first either one. I don't care. Let's go dishes, team. Yeah. Right. I was gonna yep. say the same thing. Wow, we got dish. Uh, da, 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 da. So dish picked right after slash before me, as he was the ninth pick. I was the tenth pick. He, I don't think he had a very good record in uh, EPL last time, but then made a good run, and made it to the finals. So and lost in the finals. Uh, I would say his big three are like again very solid he's got the good Hakuda he's got Kiba and he's got Maguro so he's got those two cutter spams and then Kiba which can spam the fastball thing so like that three is very very solid and then he had a couple picks where I was like yeah so he's got Kagura Zaka which I think he talked about in his stream he's like oh I picked people I didn't want to pitch but now you got like a spot starter pretty much or you have to use one of these guys out of the pen so like at this point I would have kind of shifted more to the fielders. I don't think you need Kagura Zaka, but... And then he's got, like, Tanakayama. Obviously, that's just for fielding. So, again, really, it's six pitchers. Like, Tanakayama is not going to do anything, so... And one of those is Yumishiro, and then he's got Shirama, who, again, is... not. He's not bad. I think I've used him before, but he's uh, only D-stamina, and he's E-control, so that can get, like, pretty spicy. So you're really... Your only high-leverage pitcher is going to be Shirama or, like, one of these two out of the pen, so... That's going to get interesting quick. But again, otherwise, if you just ignore it, if you just hope that these two carry you, then you're looking good. I would have liked to see better bullpen arms later added to this. Yeah, I guess, I guess it's just our inexperience in, in this kind of format here, but I'm 
to, from our perspective, coming from hyper offense, it seems like there's just a lack of, of bullpen arms, and now maybe you just haven't needed them in season one of of EPL in, in this format. But it's definitely worrying from from where we come <laughs> from. And we do have like more uh, punishing rest rules and stuff, like, but we we have to sit like four games or whatever, and they only have to sit two, but. I think it's uh, pretty spicy because you you get one of those guys out and now you're relying on all these shitty shutters pretty much. So uh, he's got uh, that. Have... Yeah, go ahead, both of you guys. Go splash, then frisk. Not to mention, like, it's been brought up earlier with the mood. That was usually in regard to the starters. Like, even with just a team having that extra starter may help with the mood if you have, end up needing it. But these both ends, if you only have two options, one's unavailable, the one's in a terrible mood, doesn't really leave you with many options, and what are you really getting out of that fourth, fifth guy on your bench? Yeah. What are you going to say first? I think I've, I've played or watched almost everybody in the EPL, and I think you've heard me say this before, but I'll say it again. Everybody in your league's pump, if if you were all to just pick up and move and play in EPL, it would be one through five. And it be, I've noticed everyone's pretty impatient. They're yeah, yeah. people fidgety. like the swing for sure. Yeah, and so I mean, you can see it when the draft with the draft, which is everybody's banking on having three aces that go seven, eight, or nine in innings every game, and they're not accounting for getting into trouble because in reality, if you go look at the, the scores and standings there's only a handful of games where there was more than one or two runs scored yeah i mean that's what i figure i figure a lot of people are gonna be playing for like one nothing games but what happens when they even even if let's say it's all right yeah a low scoring game but you go extra it's not oh shit like you're out of pitching because your guy's done so just interesting to see that but but yeah i i i do think that our people are pretty good like our league is pretty competitive, high skill level at this point. But again, that is on PlayStation, and I think that I am definitely worse on Switch. So I gotta figure out what the hell is going on with that. But anywho, back to uh, Dish's team. Gotta give him that respect, and they do have this thing up nice. And good, and good. Uh, we got the Emperor Business in the middle. Tomozawa Hamishima. Hamishima. I like Tomozawa a lot, obviously. And then. He's got pushing stuff somewhere. There it is. Look at that. He can even throw. So he made, there's his reliever guy right there. He's got Tomozawa Noda. I forgot about that. So there you go. He's got relievers. <clears throat> Sneaky. Forgot about that. Anywho. Uh, again, he got part of that outfield squeeze. And he took like Tamaguchi for uh, center. Again. He's got, he picked like Wang. I, I think both of us were hoping for Murasame and then Greg took him like right before we got there. And we were both sad. Uh, and then, so again, these top two, obviously pretty solid. Tom's is great. Naito, I think it's not bad. And then D Wang, I think mean, it was a panic pick after uh, Murasame got taken. Goba's not bad. But he said, like all the catchers were like about the same at that point. So I was like, ah, whatever, screw it for catcher. Tojo, I had him in that first draft league we did, and like, he had a couple, I think he had like that one walk-off first Matt Paz, I don't know if you remember that, but it was like definitely a uh, pretty low hitting uh, average, I remember. And otherwise, like, again, he's got some stuff, and again, we talked about relying on that top pitching, but he does have those two pitcher, reliever, or hitter, fielder relievers, pretty much. But so when we'll did he take we... Tojo? Uh, it was pretty mid, I think. I mean, third base is actually not deep at all either. Like, third base and outfield. You don't think so? I thought third is decently deep. You've got Shimada. You've got... Told you it was the ninth bay. round. Yeah, technically, Kiyomoto can play there. Uh, Fukuya. Yeah, that's that's kind of, like, the it's first base really third. Yeah, the, top tier. the first base third base was, like, everyone can play first and third. So maybe they're out of position at third, but they can still play it, I think. But, I mean, like, as far as, like, usable third, yeah, I guess. I think I had, like, ten or something. I'll pull it up on my phone. Because I, I made well, my I mean, own draft board, know, but there, I, I mean, I guess, you, you know, there's Orme, there's Inada, there's Bando, but... 
Yep. They, there's like some, or, you know, Shacho, there's some like. They start getting a flaw. Yeah. yeah. I, I understand. In each of them. But if you want like a good all around balance third baseman, there's really only like four. Maybe yeah, five. Rigo. Oh, yeah, Rigo too. He went first round, I think second or third overall. For you? Yeah, I mean, with lock on, that's pretty nuts. So. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm looking at my list that I had. I have like 17 players that I had said were like usable, but almost all of them are out of position, guys. <laughs> pretty funny. So, I guess, yeah. I do think, I do think Dish has a, a pretty solid middle infield there. And yep. in a league where it's going to be a lot of contact hitting, those are probably two of the more important positions to have good Yeah, players. I think his up the middle defense is good, and then Tojo's good at third. And then it's just how good is your outfielder defensively and like you could see you starting to get a little nervous, but I think he ended up getting all right. So I don't think Dadon does great B run speed, but he does have like the B fielding for decent jump. And again, C fielding, B run speed. So could be worse, like he could have gotten screwed more there. But yeah, I think defensively, it's going to be interesting for a lot of teams because it's going to be like those weak contact balls in play. Can they cover it? I agree with that. Anything else about Dish's team? I wouldn't be surprised if Awate gets start over Tamaguchi. I think he's hyped about Tamaguchi. I heard him in the chat in his video. He wants that A run speed out there, but I don't know. Maybe he'll get uh, disappointed by his uh, CD and lackluster clutch. Yeah, the outfield, the outfield just fell off a cliff. It's so thin. If you're using not great pitchers and not everyone has cannon arm behind the plate, that gold stealing with decent run speed. Yeah, huge. I think a lot of people are going to obviously try to run, so. All right, that's it for Dish's team. I think we have a few more. We got my team still. Let's, do we can do Zoomy yet. We got uh, Zoomy. We can do them next. This is one of my, this is this one in the, Soda Beer Sunrise are probably my two favorite logos. He's got a turtle on his ball. Uh, that's, that's a pretty cool logo. Yeah, I like that one. Some of his pitchers. Uh, Asa. Obviously a good top pitcher. And then after that, it's kind of, I would say, all right. He really goes for Iron Ball, obviously. Iron Ball, Iron Ball, Iron Ball. You know, he's... Uh, he went for the two sneaky guys of Red and Terramoto, but he picked them pretty both pretty early. And Terramoto only eats stamina, so again, a lot of people are gonna hope that their pitchers go deep, but we'll find out. And then the rest of these guys, Queen Kokoro, I don't know if that was picked for a fielder or a pitcher, but like outfielder again is pretty thin, so that's probably part of it. Nuki I don't really like, but he does have good control. One, eh. And then he's got Octavia with the Intimidator, but and just really has that knuckleball. That's like the bad contact fish pitch. Not really a uh, top pitcher. Any comments about the pitching staff other than that? I mean, uh, Oss has the, the clear ace on the staff, and I think um, you know, when, when the others are pitching, it's going to be kind of a roller coaster ride there. Yeah. I think, like, obviously, Red has good stamina, so you really hope that he gets through his games unscathed. But unless uh, Frisk is pitching with them and then he tilts like crazy, maybe you're right. Ah, there it is. I'm waiting for it. Anywho, back to the lineup. Uh, lineup wise, again, this was like one of those drafts where like there was a lot of picks that you're like, all right, all right, and then you're kind of like, eh, for some of them. But overall, the decent team and Zumi's a good player, so I'm sure he'll uh, be playoff worthy anyway. Uh, again, we talked about he's got a uh, couple outfielder options out there, but maybe Queen Coco is playing outfield. I don't know. Maybe they're in DH. Uh, and then uh, hitting wise, Asa and Red are actually pretty decent at hitting, so they'll probably be in DH. I just remember that. But so Queen Coco might actually play in the outfield. I'm not sure. I don't know what he's gonna do. But he's got Yashima with that good run speed out there, but not too good fielding stuff. And Suwano at catcher has got good catcher ability. Uh, Saru's all right. Kuroe, not sure if he's going to try and use him as second or outfield, but again, just outfielder's thin. And then Sakuma, not a huge fan of that at shortstop. 
He's got also uh, Batayari or whatever, but it's the lefty guy. And otherwise, not really, again, looking at the lineup overall, like, uh, I was a really big fan of Takemoto Raigo. I think they're both really good. And he'll probably want to be at third, ideally. But we'll see how he tries to get him there without <coughs> sacrificing something else, because then uh, Ichijo would probably have to go to second. So, it'll be interesting. <coughs> but yeah, I, yeah, I like I, I like mean, these two, but, or at least three. Really. I don't think there's any I don't think there's any fatal flaws in this team. I think there's a lot of you know middle of the road decent guys in here. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't hate any of these guys. It's just uh, Sakuma. Maybe that's about it. But doesn't have Glover. Doesn't have anything. I mean, Alfield could be pretty weak though. If you look at that, like you have. Yeah, Brian I mean, Allen fielding wise. Yeah. Just slow hero out of position fast but you know I've, yeah I've, I've, I've never actually seen hero in the outfield yeah i think you pretty much have to play kokoro out there at least that's bc but again that's also be out of position so i think everyone was super scrambling for uh outfielders for sure maybe he even has to play suwano or sakura no, maybe, uh, out there or whatever. that'll be uh spicy but yeah obviously outfielder being weak is common trend my team is also weak in the outfield so i don't want to like shit on it too much but uh there's that's going to be a weak spot on a lot of teams now could you what's up first flash i'm talking all right so hopefully that makes for some good action with people testing the outfielders arms yeah you know, if everyone's out of position or you only put them out there because they're fast but they all got noodle arms yeah i think with this team it's just going to be like get around those three and then you're pretty much set. Like, I mean, I guess the DH will be decent too. So maybe like four top guys and it's going to be a big drop off after that. Anyways. But again, it's a draft, so like it's going to happen. But... All right. I think that's it for Zumi's team. Uh... What I was going to say is, can you imagine a world where I fleeced the triple P so that I got Toy and uh, Kagami? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, with the, like, for some reason, everybody was pitching, they're, they were trying to swoop up all the pitchers, but pitchers was, like, super deep, right? And everybody, I mean, you know, like, everyone still was thinking about their three starters. Yeah, and with, so, like, it's crazy. With lock on one, I'm going power, I'm power swinging every time, that's still good enough. <clears throat> but also, then I want to get outfield, so, like, I would say uh, Toy and Kagami are great. Uh, we got the Purple Hurricanes, Slime Fall. So I think we have three teams left. This team, Faded Sun, and my team, I believe that's it. Played in the same one. So I actually yeah. played a warm-up game against Slime Fall, a, a, a spring training game. Yep. So I've got a... Uh, What's the scouting uh, report? Uh, you, you lead the way. So, scouting report-wise, so he threw Unkai, as you can imagine. Oh. Uh, uh, but then I went and looked at the pen, and I was like, "There's yeah. nobody else." <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> so that, his draft, his draft is uh, spicy for sure. But. Yeah, and so I think he's trying to get by with, you know, middle to subpar pitching, and just hopefully, you know, with no lock on, be able to kind of dominate there. But. Even when I, so it was really curious to me because then when I when I actually faced his lineup, I also didn't notice that many big names as well. And so I was sort of I, I I felt the urge to go back and look at the draft to see why he actually chose who he chose uh, because it didn't seem like he had you know besides like Ankai and a couple others yeah. there was no real standout yeah. players. It felt super top heavy. So like as you're saying like. You passed off on all these top pitchers. Where are the top hitters? But so looking at his draft, the first pick he had was Kagami, which I think he's good in, with lock on, but I don't think he's first round pick with no lock on. But he managed to get Unkai with his second round pick, which is like a huge steal. Like I think Unkai is like a top pitcher and should be very high. So that was a really good pick. But then his third pick was uh, this Isioi, which like 
that's un, like unjustifiable. Questionable. So, yeah. <laughs> no, this is not questionable. It's not questionable. It's unjustifiable. That is that is that's, a sabotage. As, oh my as, God. If you're trying to build a top competitive team, that's like that's not a top fix. Uh, so let's see what went after that. Right after that was Victor Coldberg, the outfielder. Then we got Sendo, Graviton, Garcia, and he took uh, Doma. This is still him. He took uh, Doman. So again, obviously, uh, pit, like pitcher wise. You can see it's really Unkaya and a bunch of filler. So he's got that one game where he's going to have a chance to win. And then after that, it's going to be a uh, tough sledding, I think. But then he picked Doman, which, again, that's going to be your fourth round pick. But there's a lot of other good stuff out there. Like Tenoji went after that. Mine, uh, Vanguard. Like a lot of uh, other players that are probably better. But. Anywho, so you would hope to that he punishes it and like the lineup's at least scary, but it's Kagami, who again we talked about doesn't have good lock on. Or there is no lock on, so that's not the best, but he's still obviously a good player. So not really a slouch. Not a fan of Dome on that high. Slama Matsu, obviously again, it's tough with uh, no lock on. Do, 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 do. And I mean like yeah, I the the lineup itself, no real threats, so just uh, don't be stupid and throw a mistake pitch or throw it to the same pitch location every single time and let him catch it. I'm, I'm just floored by the Izayori pick. I would love to hear what the, the logic behind that was from him. I don't know. Maybe he's got a hard on for it. Who knows? <laughs> <clears throat> But I think what he said was he's like he wanted he wanted his team from last time, but I'm pretty sure his record last time wasn't too good. So. Eight nineteen, he was yeah. one game from being demoted. Well, he might be taking a spot next time for us. I don't know. <clears throat> if I'm about to get demoted, I always say let's run it back. See. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, obviously, uh, at some point. Like, you can win with a shitty team if you're nasty, so you better be nasty then. But you better step it up then. It's gonna be uh, tough sledding. Yeah, I think in our, in our game, he played uh, he played pretty well. Um, but, I, I mean, clearly, if Unkai's not on the mound, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, and I think he plays only with no lock-on anyway, so like he's used to it at least. But still gonna be uh, tough to hit with these guys. Like, I'm like, I was gonna say, like, oh, like... My team wasn't too good for uh, Power Pros World Cushion, and I still hit with them, kinda. But I feel like this team's probably even worse than my team, I think, so I don't know. Let's see. I do yeah. think it's easier to hit with no lock on on Switch for some reason. Uh, people's preference. Not, not me, not me. Alright, we'll do Faded Sun, and then we'll leave me for last, I guess. I am curious how many people. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Splash. Uh, it's, just, it's just funny seeing some of these players from when we first started playing World Baseball Classic game where it's full lock-on. You're like, oh, I don't care about half contact. They got S power. And then you go and bring him into no lock-on and people are wondering why they can't get a hit. That, I feel like his team, like, he must, like, use that on, like, a low-cost team and he's like, likes those players and then he's like, ah, I'm gonna use these guys. But, again, we said he doesn't even use lock-on, so I don't understand. But... Yeah, I heard uh, Maximum Christine didn't get drafted in the EPL, which is crazy. Yeah, but people are crazy. Like, no one wanted the low-contact, high-power guys for the most part. It was, like, pretty funny. Like So, like, a lot of my late picks were just, like, <laughs> like five-cost guys because lock-on's good, but the other one, they're not. Uh, we got the green monsters here. I just grabbed a random picture, and I didn't even bother to uh, get the transparent background, so I was like, whatever. Uh, again, one of these uh, teams where you have a couple of RA picks and then it kind of gets a little off kilter. Tony's not bad, but not like too threatening, but again, not too bad. Uh, and then S run speed is always interesting as a pinch runner. Uh, Narumi, actually decent hitting, kind of, for DH, but that's going to be a tough starter there. Yamaguchi, I think, is solid as a starter, you can get by. But then uh, you got Isimura and Horus Runners are mean two guys out of the pen, and then I don't trust Fukami or Psycho as well. Probably, that's probably just for hitting, but 
He smarts our right out of the pen. Just, just for Intimidator and then same thing. Horus Run could start, but he's got Intimidator, so... Overall, not the worst. Like, I think you can get by with Yijitani, Yamaguchi, Horus Run, Isamura. It's just going to be that other third game. And then again, same thing as we talked about. And I like, I don't even think Yamaguchi's amazing, because you just kind of sit at the bottom of the zone and wait for the fourth ball that rises up, but... Isamura has actually managed to get through some innings and hyper offense without getting too dinged up. So, yeah. it's one of the first relievers under 400 stars that I'm actually feel good about. Yeah, I like Isamura as like a sneaky low guy, but it's, it's really just Intimidator. Like, Intimidator is just disgusting, so... Yeah, I think Fukami, right, has, uh, has Iron Ball. Uh, he and, does have uh, Intimidator and, and Iron Ball. Ball. Yeah. And, and then I, also Gold I, Risp. I, I so. apologize, Fukami. We'll see. I'm curious what uh, what percentage of the, the league will use two tap versus just standard pitching. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's like pretty much 50 50 for the most part, if I remember. But... Yeah, I think it varies from league to league. I think EPL is probably 50 50. I think a triple P is 80 20, or 20 80. 20. Uh, for press twice, 80 for the standard, the classic or whatever. Yeah, I still don't trust it for online, just especially switch the game. Like just like freezes so weird sometimes that I'm like hell no. <laughs> I'd rather it just get the one mistake pitcher, one or like few mistake pitchers a game. But it's different too. Like pitching with these guys, it's way more frustrating because their control's so bad. But like in uh, like with the God Squad League, you, there's no reason to use press twice because <laughs> they're just that's under control anyway. So it's going wherever you want. I do think it. It probably in a nine inning game, it is actually it hurts you to probably use press twice because as soon as as soon as you get to yeah like that's that seventh inning yeah yeah I mean there, there's some pitcher like even Unkai is like yeah borderline yeah. That, unusable that first one too where you like it drops at the like it looks like it's gonna be yellow stamina or whatever and then that pitch drops to orange when you're not ready for it that like gets it everyone every time so always gotta be on the lookout for that. Yeah. Uh, his team, again, this is kind of similar to the other one where he had some reaches, I would say. I think this is one of his top picks. Again, he wanted that E-catcher probably, but... Uh, what else? Do you need else? it, though? Like... No, I don't think so. <laughs> <clears throat> but people are going to rely on their starters. they got to get through the game. They need that stamina. <laughs> Uh, what else? He picked Issa Yoi super early, and again, shortstop's really deep. I feel like this He's... lineup is so rough. Yeah. I mean, who's going to destroy you? I like Kirigane as like the versatility stuff, yeah. but uh, after that, it's like, again, uh, who am I scared of facing? Not really anyone. What are they going to do? Hit a single off of me? I don't know. Yeah, he's, it's, it's got a fast team, but... I would understand the Akari pick if he was gold catcher ability, and that put him above everyone else. So it seems like there was plenty of yeah, big catcher I options. I think like it was like the big data is like a little bit better than everybody else, and after that it's just like who cares? They're all they're all like kind yeah, of dog super shit. Deep. Yeah, catcher so. super deep. And like they're all about the same, like very very similar. But he's got uh, Black and Kyle out there in the outfield, so that's fast at least. And Satine's also decent in the field. He has like the gold magician or whatever. So I think outfielder. I just wonder how defense. he's going to score. Yeah, exactly. He he's, doesn't have lots of power and you know, not super confident. I wouldn't be super confident stringing a bunch of hits together with these guys. So that's, yeah. that's the question mark that's coming from. Well, it's like he's trying to win games 1 uh, 0. The pitching seems to be the, the story. I mean, like, obviously, a lot of people went high contact and. Or high speed or whatever, I feel like. So we'll see how it goes. People are trying to poke little base hits all game, I guess. But you guys know, you guys know the power of the big swing. Uh, the contact and speed does work a lot better when most people are running C speed out in the outfield. Did I think we got everyone except for me? So we'll wrap it up here. Yeah, I think we got everyone. Yeah, let's do the logo. Pachin. All right, don't look too closely at the nose. But we got the Lost City Monarchs. This is our squad. Uh, our top three pitchers, obviously, super deep. 
go opener for my man to get him in with the tyrant if you really want to, but for the most part. And then same thing even for Daigugetsu, but doesn't have that, uh, whatever it's called. I think I, so as, as I always say, I've had Daigugetsu now in two other leagues. Like, I'm expecting every single time he pitches to give up three runs, but that's in Hyper Offense League where you guys are all pin, uh, power swinging every at-bat now. So I don't think with the power, like, people aren't going to power swing for the most part, so I think I'll get away with a little bit more mistake pitches down the middle. I don't think not everybody's going to be get, get the quick switch to power swing. And Suzukaze is still busted with that stupid uh, pitch, so I will be spamming the shit out of that, sorry. Uh, yeah, Command 1, uh, probably spot starter slash whatever. Honestly, he's been sneaky decent <laughs> against uh, HL for some reason, but not the best, obviously. And then I was also valuing the uh, two-way players pretty high, so you have, like, uh, Fuck You Mizu, uh, Varese, which that's kind of a bullshit one, but... And then I like, I always like this guy out of the pen, just has Iron Ball, but decent velocity. And we got Papillon with the uh, Intimidator. So I think top three, like, I don't think I, like, I could probably drop a pitcher and get away with it, I think, with these top three. But I don't want to uh, play myself that scary. I like having this number of pitchers, eight, I believe. I do think this is pretty clearly the, the scariest pitching lineup here. Yeah, got there's three guys that can there, go like, any given night. Yeah, I think uh, it was this in Dish. I like Dish's top three as well. It's like Diva, uh, Maguro, and Akudo. But the top, like Akudo, but like obviously I'm picking these three over most of those guys. Maybe obviously Kiba is up there. But, um, and again, like I say it all the time, but. For online, high velocity is like by far the like disgusting. If you're not uh, sitting a fastball in a certain spot, you're not going to get to it. So <clears throat> these two are uh, one of the two fastest guys, and then Suzukazu just has that stupid special pitch. So I think he'll get hit around a little bit, but then we have the other bullshit guys in the pen. So I know Frisk was mentioning that you know there wasn't as much emphasis on going after pitching early in the draft. But if these games are going to be one, two run games, you know, given your proclivity for dropping bombs, I feel like going for good pitching, give up one run a game, odds are you'll probably catch at least two homers. Yeah, I think, like, I'm looking at the draft board that I had right now, and I took Kiyamoto, which we're going to show right here, and then I took one, two, three, four pitchers in a row, but one of those was Papillon, so that's kind of a two-way guy. So I, I wanted to get my top three kind of quick and done early, because, again, I, I agree that, like, your pitcher should be able to go deep most games. <clears throat> and I've definitely gotten away with that in uh, Hyper Offense Leagues, where my starter goes really deep. But uh, I, I think that after that, there's just a big drop-off, so I didn't want to have to pick pitchers for a while. So I picked... My fifth round pick was Suzukaze, and then I took fucking Mizu, but that was more for the outfielder uh, view of it, because the outfielders were so thin, and I didn't pick another pitcher until the 14th round, so that was kind of my strategy. I was hoping to get three quick pitchers and then be done with pitching for a long time. While other people are starting to take pitchers, I'm still taking fielders. And I think fielders are like pretty deep at certain positions, so like shortstop, catcher, a lot of those things. I took Kyushu actually pretty early though, sixth round pick. And I still have to unlock him in the Switch game. That's pretty sad. He doesn't have good uh, catcher stuff. But even then, I still got Rukudo late as well with Trash Talk. Good, good, good catcher. So I can be like a defensive guy if I really want to. Obviously, Kiyomoto, uh, the threat every time he's up to bat. Hino at DH is also like, I can't believe people did not draft him earlier. I like, I took him in the ninth round and like, People going the ninth round were pretty, pretty bad at that point. Ninth, tenth round. So I was glad to get him there. Papillon, obviously, decent two way. Uh, honestly, I don't like. I'm not, he, he's got uh, like the average hitter and power hitter, but that's like it. So it could be uh, worse, but again, just the two way is nice. Uh, Fukuya, another person that can hit homers. I know uh, Splash had him in our first draft league. He actually, hit a couple homers, so if he can do it, I can definitely do it. That's for sure. And we got uh, Shibuya, who, again, outfielder is pretty terrible. He does have Intimidator, which I'm happy about. So we talked about, definitely have to drain out stamina from guys. 
Zanzu, again, was just one of those short steps that I took with my 11th round pick. So, like, getting him at 11th round is pretty solid. Uh, again, we, my outfielder is definitely uh, very weak, as we uh, talked about. It could be worse fielding, like D run speed and uh, C. That's going to be my left fielder, obviously. Fucking Izu, C run speed, but uh, your arm at least, but C fielding. And then you got uh, to put this person in the outfield. It was getting pretty dire at that point. That was like my 12th round pick. And then uh, even like the bench, like my bench is one of the best benches, I think, for uh, hitting. Because I got Bando, who can play corner, first, third, like Intimidator, and can fill in. Like I'll use him if mood wise over uh, like Fukuya or whatever. But And then I got Rokuyo again, as we talked about. Uh, Ban I got with my 17th pick. He's got Glover, he's got gold throwing. Like can play uh, middle infield, kind of, <laughs> shortstop at least. And then outfielder is uh, just, just this person no one wanted to draft it. This is my 18th round pick. As we talked about, no one wanted to pick the good power hitters. But very interesting. Mm. But yeah, so obviously uh, outfielder is a little spicy. But up the middle, defense, not too bad. Could be worse, but still happy with that. And overall, I think our lineup has more threats than most teams. So like I think one, two, three, four and then five, and then even these guys are still like decent slash could catch one, but except for one. So. Is that the lineup you're gonna roll with? Uh, uh, this, I don't know, like this exact order. I think Fukuya is probably gonna be down. I like hitting, like honestly, usually my best player hitting second. So I don't know what I'll actually do. It's probably gonna be more something like, <clears throat> Wow, hot off the presses. Off the uh, presses. Yeah, did you see w WBSC just announced four new players coming to the game? Oh, uh, what the hell? We got a draft Afro again! Okari, oh. Afro Kari, regular is. Oda. Breaking uh, news. Damn, I like regular Oda too. Yeah. Like so, that. that's, I that's think cool. they should give him to the... So all the new players should be the ones to get it. So me, Penguin Pouch, Faded Sun, and who's yeah, the MC Scales. Us four should get the players because we're the new guys. Afro car is pretty uh, draft breaking here. Being a oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they said we need like a shit ton of players to be released to do it again. If I understand, but yeah, that's its squad. We're all right. Again, you can tell this, this hitting lineup is built uh, to not have a lot of traffic on the base paths. It's either ending up in the seats or a fly out. Yeah, I, it's going to be interesting how I try to adapt to... Because, like, you you can uh, tell. So even going to, like, when I played uh, trying to unlock guys again on Switch with lock on, like, those non-SS power guys, it just dies. Like, with the, especially versus Iron Ball, it just dies on the this uh, Crown Stadium. So that's kind of annoying. So if I like power swing every up bat, I'm not gonna have the best success. I think like Kimoto can still put it out, obviously, but all these other guys, are, like I have to really, really pull it or be on it to hit it out, which kind of sucks. But well, overall, I'm still so happy. And some of the people that went very iron ball heavy on their pitching staff, those are gonna be the ones that are annoying. Where if you don't catch it perfectly. You're not getting those ones where you're just muscling it out because you're 100 power. Yeah, I think first the like bottom tier pitchers. Yeah, I'm gonna be hunting for homers. So even uh, in Power Pearls World Cushion, we caught a couple. So I think we can get more. These those, these hitters are better than what I had in that. So especially my top five. I think I had like one guy that was A's. And that was it. So we'll see. I, I'd like obviously to get a better outfielder, but it's not much I can do. Like not, it's, it's not even like anyone has a bunch, except for uh, like one dude. But what can you do? Be interesting to see how long it takes to adjust to the, the Switch versus PlayStation. Yeah, I don't know if if I'll ever get it with this uh, controller. It's just not the same. But if I try to use the PlayStation controller, then I get a little. Uh, not, it's not the same. Definitely not the same. I 
Maybe it's just looking at the shitty graphics or it's my eyes. I don't know. Any other I round? It, I, I think it has to be frame rate related. Yeah, I think, I, I think it's frame rate related. I, I just can't. I, I've been I've been trying to troubleshoot different different TVs, different. I mean, hell, I went and played some games back. I installed it on PS4, on my PS4 Pro. Pulled yeah. that out of the storage room. Like I I don't know I don't know what it is, but it's just very different. Uh, I think fundamentally they changed something between for online between the like porting it to Switch that just has a play slightly a little different. Yeah, like it looks honestly better to me too. I, I don't know for sure, but when I like put it on handheld, like I feel like it's even better than if I put it on HDMI. But I don't know. can't confirm that yet. Yeah. These are the lineups we're rocking. We're going with the evil monarch theme, obviously. That. There we go. Ta-da! <clears throat> but we will see how this goes. I still gotta unlock my catcher. And after that, I think I am all good. We'll hopefully get the schedule released soon. I think we're supposed to start in two weeks, so look forward to it. Any other closing comments for the High Council for this one? Better start getting those practice games in. All these our league has practice. I think I, I can't see myself not making the playoffs at least, but I think that uh, I don't think I'm gonna have the best record at the Switch unless I like really put time into it. If I like get back to playing every day, I'm playing on Switch every day. Everybody watching should subscribe to I Pump Plastic and oh. M Dot Frisk. There you go. Yep. You should. Because I still have to play Frisk in my Valley First Cash Money Rematch Rubber Game Number Four. But PlayStation, you can get the revenge. Yeah, yeah, I'm PlayStation, so it looks pretty. That's that's the biggest thing. You gotta look good for the fans. But we'll have games coming out hopefully soon. I'll have I'll always put my game up, my uh, version of the game up. I don't have the Cash Money sound effect anymore for that. Uh, for that. We don't have a Lost City Monarch sound effect, but there's a cash money one last time. Anywho, thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you in when the season starts. Peace.